Hey guys, Hello Bella here. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how I use the leopard print pattern to sell shirts on Merch by Amazon and kind of how I utilize this pattern to add it to text or to add it to pictures. It really helps set me apart from other sellers in the search results and especially if everyone has a plain shirt and then you have the same kind of style but you have leopard print added to it, it can help you stand out from the competition. So here on my computer, these are some of the leopard print files that I have, and most of these I bought from Etsy shops. There are a lot of people who make digital files and put together some really colorful, really cool leopard print patterns. I just want to flip through here and show you some of the patterns that I bought. I bought all of these in a pack for, I think, like $2.99, and they're super high quality files. They're really easy to work with, and you can use these for a lot of different things. Lots of people like to buy sports shirts with leopard print on them, so for their particular team and then with a leopard print. And before some of you guys start saying, oh, you can't use sports teams, you can make generic sports team shirts. You can make like a Wildcats shirt. There are a lot of high school teams that are called Wildcats. I personally went to a school that was called the Wildcats, so I think that that is okay. As long as you're not putting like Kentucky Wildcats in your title, I think that you should be okay. So just flipping over here, this is what I mean by using the leopard print in my designs. I had this fish graphic that was kind of boring. It was just a black fish graphic. So I went ahead and added the leopard print background to this and then I put some text over it. And then we have ourselves a t-shirt design and it's really as simple as that. Another thing that I've been experimenting with here is using this leopard print background to kind of make like a design within the t-shirt. So basically the whole t-shirt would have the leopard print and then you would put your main design in this white spot right here and I just made this little graphic this is one graphic and then on top of this other graphic and I just made this using pick monkey it's super easy so you can get rid of this layer and that's just leopard print and then I put the white over it and I've actually sold several shirts with this sort of pattern and the cool thing about this concept is you can replace this leopard print with literally anything you could put American flag you could put different kinds of Halloween or Christmas backgrounds here's an example of using the Syrup I believe it's called pattern this is basically leopard print with some other uh, colors mixed in there and I would not recommend making this t-shirt because I'm pretty sure that I didn't wind up uploading it because I didn't want to get rejected but this is an example of something that you can do and I'll show you with a black background what this is gonna look like on a shirt so this is what it would look like on a shirt not the greatest design but kind of an example for you guys of what you can do and the way I'm getting this pattern back here is um, you can get these off of different websites like look up distressed background or distressed pattern or you can get them off directly off of PicMonkey or something like Canva. So a tool that I use pretty often to do research is Merch Informer and I'm using this to look up leopard print Christmas just to give you guys an idea and over here you can check where it says competition score. Basically that score means that it is a good market to go in, the competition is not super high and that the shirts are selling. So here you have leopard print Christmas trees, you've got a leopard print Christmas tree over the buffalo pattern with a cat. So you've got red buffalo plaid cat tree leopard print Christmas pajamas. So they've got tons of things on the search results that people are typing in and this shirt is only ranked 1.2 million right now price at 13.65 so they're probably just trying to rank right now looks like they did a similar pattern here with a horse instead of the cat and they're probably just doing this with every single animal so you can definitely change out that buffalo pattern for the leopard print pattern here we've got a leopard print truck more leopard print Christmas trees that is a really big trend if you're not already aware and leopard print gnomes, leopard print Santa Claus, a leopard print skull with a hat on it, you're cross niching Christmas, a skull, and leopard print all in one design. Here you got that same concept. We've got a leopard print chicken with a Santa hat on. So you're cross niching Christmas chickens and leopard print. Basically leopard print is another way to sort of stand out in the search results. And people really like leopard print. Leopard print is a super popular pattern right now. It's totally trending. If you go to any store, like if you go in a mall, you'll see a ton of leopard print things right now. All right, so jumping over to another thing, we've got leopard print nurse. Once again, competition score is an A. We've got school nurse and this person says it's leopard print, but I really can't even see any leopard print I guess it's really really detailed and here we've got another one where the nurse font here is Labor and delivery nurse. So we've got one niche which is labor and delivery Then we've got another niche which is nurses. Well, it's really specific and then we've got the leopard print So let's get a close-up look at this. We've got the leopard print has a black outline and then another outline so that you can see that because if you just did the black outline you would not be able to see it very well on that black shirt so I think that this is a good use 
of design. It's pretty simple. It fits the shirt well and this is an A plus in my book for design quality and it looks like it's selling pretty well. It's ranked 561,000. Here's another one that says emergency nurse and it's got leopard print ER nurse nursing school and let's click on this one. So this one has a different style. They've got each letter with a little bit of leopard print so that it still you can read it pretty easily. Not a huge fan of that font on top, but it's simple, it's clean, it's on a white t-shirt. You can easily read all of that from the thumbnail picture, so I think that this is another good example. And this shirt is ranked at 674,000 estimated sales for sales per month. So let's keep scrolling here and see what we can find. We've got a gigantic looking ER and it's got the leopard print and then nurse on the bottom with the little graphics beside it. Not the best design in my opinion, but looks like it's selling pretty well, probably just because it's so bold and so easy to see from the thumbnail. Here we've got pediatric nurse, we've got nurse case manager, mother baby nurse, we've got school nurse, we've got registered nurse, oncology nurse. So you can see how this person took a concept like nurse and then they added the concept of leopard print and then they niched down. So what they did was they went to every single different type of nurse and you can just go on Google and look up different types of nurses and you get yourself that list and then you all you have to do here is change the word on top. You never have to change the word nurse if you don't want to. So you could just say pediatric, oncology, mother baby, geriatric, whatever you want to do. You could just keep adding on top of that original nurse design that you came up with and this is something that I do quite often because I don't have time to make a ton of different designs I usually just make one design and then change the text on the top or the bottom of that design okay here I just typed in leopard print background to see what I can come up with and you'll see that it looks like one of the best-selling shirts on Amazon right now ranked 9,000 so basically it has 270 estimated sales per month this is just a very simple design where they had this jack-o-lantern face but it looks like they added over some leopard print glasses to it. Here you've got another shirt that is selling pretty well, 51 sales a month, and it is just a pumpkin with leopard print. Here we've got a cactus, and here's that Syrup pattern again. It says funny leopard cactus Syrup cactus print turquoise t-shirt. Spice up your life with leopard print. Not sure what this is referring to, but I can only imagine. We've got another little pumpkin. This time we've got a leopard print bow and leopard print glasses. So they may have even seen that one with the glasses and thought, hey, let's add my own spin to this. Let's go ahead and add a bow in the mix. And I could definitely see this shirt selling for little girls. I could see this as something that a girl would wear to like a Halloween photo shoot. This one says band mom, so we've got the band, we've got being a mom, and then we've got leopard print, and then we've got the little music note in the middle. So this is another really niched down design that I think, in my opinion, the more specific you get, the better. Here we've got the leopard print that is also mixed with the cow print. So we've got two very busy prints, western cow print cactus graphic leopard cheetah spelled wrong. That is selling. It's got a rank of 580,000 and it is selling. So I typed in leopard print football and these are some of the results. Loud and proud football mom leopard print cheetah pattern. So that is a pretty busy design. Let's take a look at that a little bit closer here. All right, so you can see that they used a leopard print. They've got white outline on the text so that you can see it on a black shirt. They did not put the white outline on the helmet or the football. They did put the white outline below on some black text. And I'm not sure how I feel about the black on black shirt, the black text on the black shirt. Not a big fan of that. This design, even though it's not my favorite style, I think that it's definitely going to sell really well because it's just, you know, it's kind of one of those like chuggy football mom things. The people who go to the ball field every single weekend, they need different shirts to wear. So you can see here it has a ton of ratings. It's got 44 ratings. It's priced really low at $13.98. So I feel like they're they're trying to rank probably. They're leaving a lot of money on the table pricing that low. It looks like at one point their rank was as low as 125000 It's gone up to 580000 So if you wondered what your target market is, this is definitely it. Um, you can sometimes take a look at the reviews and find out a lot about the customers just by clicking on those reviews. 
Here's an interesting one, although I would not put the uh, pink ribbon on this, but the design without the pink ribbon I think would be awesome. The reason I wouldn't put the pink ribbon on is because it is trademarked for the breast cancer awareness, and I just would not mess with that. But this is really cool design with the pink leopard print. It's girly, it's good for moms, and it's definitely like you can allude to it being a cancer awareness shirt, but I would never actually put that cancer ribbon on the shirt. And they even put football mom pink leopard leopard print breast cancer awareness t-shirt. So I'm not sure about that ribbon, but I personally would not be using that. This is what I was talking about with the Wildcats trend. This says Wildcats Pride and it's got the leopard print. We've got a little floral piece on the left here and we've got the football down below. I think that this is an excellent way to do it. It's very, very uh, visually appealing and it would be a great way to make a lot of different shirts, just change out the team and the letter with different football teams. All right, guys, I will wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up and if you want more content like this, you can always subscribe to my channel. Hopefully, you know now how to use the leopard print in your merch by Amazon designs. Thanks so much guys. Have a great week.